Well, hi there, pluckers. Salva Soul Fingers again with you. Thanks indeed for joining me for another hopefully interesting lesson. This one is a request I've had in for a song, a lesson on a song called San Franciscan, oh, San Francisco Street. Sorry, San Francisco Street by a gentleman called Sun Ray, spelt R A I. Okay. Uh, standard tuning, no capos, doing it in the same key as Sun Ray. Um, now it's all done on an electric piano. Uh, very sort of floaty, jazzy sort of chords, okay. Uh, so this is the best I can come up with as far as transferring it over to the guitar. It's not quite the same, but it's fairly close, okay. So I'm going to go through all the parts of the song you need to play it, then I'll break it down and show you exactly how I played it, and hopefully you will be good to go with it. So here we go. <laughs> So there you have it, that's my take on the, that particular song. So let's try and break it down for you, right? So introduction, uh, very floaty electric piano sort of thing. So the closest I could get was playing, uh, starts off with a sort of rake on a D major seventh, okay? So that sort of thing, okay? So just barring the first three strings on the second fret and going from five down to one. And then we play a G major seventh. Diagonal chord, uh, second fret, first string, third fret, second string, fourth fret, third string, and uh, fifth fret on the uh, fourth string there. Diagonal chord from four, three, two, one, okay? Just the four strings. So, so far we've got. Okay, 
then we play this little E minor, straightforward E minor chord, but with the pinky on the top E string on the second fret. And it's like a... So you strum it down, pick out this, and then open up the string and play the open top E string, okay? And then play the third fret on the second string, okay? So it's... And then I just play an A chord. Okay? And then you go, so that's, let's do that first part of the verse, the uh, intro again, sorry. D major 7th, G major 7th, E minor with this pinky on the top E string, 2nd fret, open top E string, 3rd fret, 2nd string, and an A chord. Then you play 2nd fret, 3rd string, 4th fret, third string, third fret, second string, okay, got that, second fret, third string, fourth fret, third string, third fret, second string, and then we play the D major seventh again, and then play that second fret on the third string, okay, so now we've got this so far, okay. back to the G major 7th and we just repeat everything we've just done basically okay got that so just once more for good measure this is my interpretation of a guitar equivalent to what's on the record which is on an electric piano okay so go into the song and uh, it goes basically into a D major 7th to an E minor 7th and the way I'm doing it to give it the correct sound sort of jazzy sort of sound is I'm playing the D major 7th like this okay fifth fret bar chord uh, first finger uh, sorry that's the first finger is playing a bar on the fifth fret second finger is playing the sixth fret of the third string Okay, uh, the third finger is playing the seventh fret of the fourth string, the D string, and Pinky is playing the seventh fret of the second string. And you play all six strings, it should sound like that D major seventh, okay? And the second chord of the next part of the song is an E minor seventh. So again, seventh fret bar chord, minor shape but with pinky off, okay? So that's an E minor seventh. And basically it's lots of little on the high strings, okay? So after the intro, we stop on that uh, A chord and we go into this D major seventh. It's, it's quite slow this song. Two bars of D major seventh, okay? Two, three, four. E minor 7th, 2 bars. Repeat the whole thing, D major 7th, E minor 7th. Right, the singing is going to come in now, okay? Same two chords. Lost on the freeway, no, this must be LA. two frets, minor shape, uh, minor seventh shape as it was there for the E minor seventh, but we go up two frets to make it an F sharp minor seventh. So I'm now on barring the ninth fret, okay? So I'm now barring the ninth fret, minor shape, pinky off. Okay, for that line. So 
so let's just go for that so that's up to there that's the line that says um, last night it hit me last night it hit me okay so let's just go from the beginning of the verse again lost on the freeway this must be LA just D major 7 to E minor 7 tired and lonely no real place to stay Shift shot minus seven. Last night it hit me when I G major seventh. That one in the intro that we played, the diagonal chord, starting on the second fret of the top E string. From had this crazy dream. And then we play that chord, which we haven't done yet. Okay. So that's F my F sharp minus seven for last night it hit me. And when I, G major 7th, had this crazy, now we play the final chord, that. It's basically a, it's like a, an F shape on the 3rd fret, for a, makes a G chord, that would be, normally be a G chord, right? But we lift off the bar, so we're, the top E string is open. So we just lift the bar off. And we play the A string open. The fifth string is open. We don't play the sixth string. Notice I'm resting my thumb on it, which mutes it. Okay, very handy. So we play the fifth string and the, this chord, like a G chord without the bar, and an open top E string. That should sound like that. Okay, and that actually is called an A9 sus4. Apparently. <laughs> okay? So, so that's the last chord of the verse. Okay? So let's just go through the whole verse. All the verses are the same to play, okay? Except there's a little bit of a fiddly bit in the second verse, which I'll show you, okay? So, from the beginning of the verse. Lost on a freeway. Oh, this must be LA. go into the chorus right and the chorus is quite simple D major seventh waking up I'm sorry because uh, waking up in your house that's a G major seventh again that's that G major seventh that we've played in earlier parts of the song so G D major seventh played here now I'm not playing it here I'm playing it here okay so waking up in your G major seventh house on a E minor, straightforward E minor, San Francisco, and then this A ninth sus4. That's that G shape, but with an open A string and an open top E string, okay? We, didn't, we, we just repeat the whole thing. Tune out with one last T weather, and it's all in front of you and me. Just does that does three sorts of bum ding bum ding bum ba and just stops and then it starts the second verse again which is exactly the same to play as the first verse apart from very one small bit which I shall show you in a second okay so you've got that so let's just go through this chorus again so coming out of the um, the, the verse where it goes uh, I had this crazy dream waking up in your home house on the sand Francisco Street, we tune out all the nasty weather. It's all in front of you and me. Pause into the next verse. You, you were intriguing, same as last time, just looking at a magazine. My grandmother saw you. And you walked over, said you don't have to be alone. Now that's 
the difference in this verse. We build up to the F sharp minor seventh. So you come to F minor, come to that second verse where it goes uh, back in 2003. Said you don't have to be alone. Oh, sorry, let's do it again. Let's go through this verse again. I'm mixed up now. So you were intriguing, just looking at a magazine. I saw you back in 2003 When you walked over Said you don't have to be alone Bop, bop, bop Got that? About to be alone, about to be alone E minor 7 F sharp, F minor 7 And then up to the F sharp minor 7 So it's same shape, just going 1, there uh, to the F sharp minor seventh, okay? Listen to the record or my playthrough, you'll hear it, okay? So coming out of that second line where it goes, um, when I first saw you back in 2003, and you walked over, said you don't have to be alone. I don't have a crystal ball. There's no way I could have known. Exactly the same after the F sharp minor seventh, you go to the G major seventh, and then this A sus nine sus uh, A nine sus four. And we're back into the chorus again. Okay. Then you do two lots of chorus. Okay. So that's the only thing different about that verse two is that instead of going straight to the F sharp minor seventh, you build up to it. Okay, then we go to, into the chorus and we do two lots of choruses, one after the other, exactly the same to play. Okay, so um, coming out of the two choruses, we go into the uh, bridge section, which is the instrumentally bit of the uh, thing, and it goes into a B flat major seventh, which is exactly the same chord shape as your D major seventh that you play in the verse on the fifth fret except it's a bar on the first fret okay it's exactly the same shape chord but played on the first fret so that's uh, B major B flat major seventh C just a straightforward C chord to the D major seventh and you do that four times okay into the chorus again and just does more choruses and it gradually fades out or whatever however you want to finish it okay so just more choruses after that okay so the only thing else I can show you is in the middle of this instrumental bit it does two of these B flat major sevenths to C to D major seventh does it again third one does that. For the third one it does that. So what I tend to do is when I when I come out of the second one, so the first one is straightforward, B flat major 7, C, D major 7, so it's simple, yeah. second one, B flat major 7, C, for the third, for the end of the second one, I play my D major seventh up here, like we do in the verse, okay? The reason is we have to do this for the third one, okay? All that's doing is just the same chord shape, working its way down one fret at a time until you hit the B flat major seventh again. And then it's back to C, D major seventh, and you do the one more, B flat major seventh, C, D flat major seventh. Stop. Waking up. Move into the chorus. Da 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 da. Waking up. OK. 
okay just repeat 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 okay so let's just go through this instrumental bit again just very slowly for you so coming out of um it comes out of the doubled up chorus so i'll do the last bit of the doubled up chorus waking up in your house on a san francisco tree we tune out all the nasty weather and it's so open uh, sorry, uh, front of the and it goes straight into this B flat major seventh. So let's try and do that again for you because I, I think on that, um, it's just a, yeah, okay, right. This is the second bit of the doubled up chorus. In your waking up in your house on a San Francisco tree, your tune out a musty weather. And it's all in front of you, all in front of me. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's the first one, right? It's the second one. Don't forget to go up to the, up the top end here. Right. This is the third one. One more. Request coming in. Stop waking up in your house on a San Francisco ship. Turn out all the nasty weather, and it's so unbearably. And so on. And there you have it. You just keep doing the chorus and fade out, sort of thing, or stop at some point. <laughs> Thanks very much for watching this thing. Hope that made sense to you and uh, enables you to play that lesson song rather. So I'll see you in the next lesson. Bye for now.